Let's take a look how to make the best chrome effect here in Adobe Dimension. Let's start in Illustrator and I'm going to use this text as a reference. Let's go to 3DM Materials, click on Inflate. I'm going to decrease the depth to zero and click on Inflate both sides. And pretty much this is it. So from here we're going to go to Asset Export. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select Asset Export right here. And all we need to do is drag and drop the image right here into the Asset Export. And from here, we're going to change it from PNG to GLTF. You also can rename the symbol however you like. I'm going to go with V3. Let's select it and click on Export. Export Location. Click on Select Folder. Now let's open up Adobe Dimension. And here, all you need to do is go to the folder where you have the GLTF file. I'm going to select V3 and just drag and drop right here. Bring it up. Press the number one, so this way you can rotate it. Let's go to environment. We're going to go with the black background and deactivate the ground plane. Now we're going to add that chrome effect. So I got to go to the left menu, collapse the models. And here we got the materials and the metal. Drag and drop the metal here to the folder with the typo. And this is the default. Now I'm going to collapse the materials as well. And we're going to go to the lights. And let's scroll down and here we got the Mallorca road. Click on it and this is how it's going to look. Activate the ray tracing so it's going to look more realistic. You also can change up the direction of the reflection. Let's go to the environment light and here we got the rotation. And here you can rotate it. I'm going to try it out like this. And you also can set up the intensity low or high. If you want to change up the image, you can click on the image here and click on the folder. And you can change it up with IBL file or HDR image or JPEG. So I'm going to go with JPEG. Let's see what happens. Click on open. And wow, check this out. It duplicated it because the convert to spherical panorama is checked. So if I uncheck it, it won't stretch it. But this definitely brings some really nice results. And pretty much this is how I make this really cool chrome effect here in Adobe Dimension and Illustrator. If you want to know how to render it and upscale the resolution, I'm going to leave a link in the description with those tutorials as well. And this was it. Thanks for watching.